Here are two cards going to the same buyer. I sold them in a lot, and I said they're excellent centering. They have excellent centering, and I think they really do. From the Fleer 1990 set, and these cards, <laughs> every card from this era, uh, they're notoriously uncentered. Uh, I just put a, uh, a basic grid over these, and uh, to me, based on my eye, um, they look pretty good. There might be a little mark right there. I'm not sure if that's a piece of dust or um, a print imperfection. I'm not sure. But as far as centering goes, they're very good. And this is kind of explaining how I'm selling a lot of more low-value cards or what I'm getting into. The idea of grading cards has not really crossed my mind. I don't buy cards that are graded. It doesn't really have... It's just not what I do, and it hasn't really crossed my mind much. It is now, but it hasn't before. Uh, and what I'm thinking is, is that someone is, is gambling that one of these two cards will come out as a PSA 10. A PSA 9 sells for about 20 bucks, and you're not really making any money because it costs about that to get them graded. But the PSA 10 from this year in this set, even though it's not his rookie year, it's... it's you know, third or fourth year in the league, depending on when the card came out, I guess. Um, a PSA 10 should go for about 40 bucks and maybe even more. I have no idea what the population is, no clue, uh, but for four bucks for two cards to get them both graded and see what they come out as might be an interesting proposition for, um, for a collector out there. And who knows, maybe it's just a Raiders fan because two bucks per card is on the high end, but not like crazy, you know, what you're gonna pay on eBay at least. I'm sure at a card show they're just worth a dime or something, but on eBay they're worth uh, quite a bit more because I have to mail the card to the buyer. What do you think?